Okay, for the rear trunnion, it's pretty much the same deal. Plumb the trunnion, line up the hole, and slip the trunnion on. You have to spread the receiver a little bit for this one. If I were building on a flat that I bent myself, I would be doing this step very last after I press the barrel in. Uh, this is an Armory USA receiver. Uh, both these and Nodak spuds uh, I've had very good results with and have never had to correct any of them, so I just go ahead and do this step now. But if you're doing this on a flat, you'll probably want to do this last because it can actually affect your uh, spacing with your selector lever to your top cover and more importantly the top cover to the uh, rear sight block. Uh, some of them are so off spec that the uh, top cover won't even close. If it's too, the receiver's too short, you know, by a few thousands, that's generally not a problem, but too long you'll have a problem because then the receiver won't lock into the front sight block. So this is level, it's about where I want it. Let me go ahead and clamp this and we'll go ahead and get going. Just don't be in a hurry when you do this stuff. In the end, it's the details that count. Alright. The rear trunnion on an AKM uses a uh, 1164 spit. It's a 316 spit, I like to undersize it a little bit. Uh, if I need to widen it out, I can. Um, if this were an underfolder trunnion, uh, it would be actually the, uh, you, if you're doing an underfolder or a side folder, uh, it's a 530 seconds bit. Uh, the trick is, is if you're using a short rivet, it's a small size, if it's a long rivet, it's a larger size. Sometimes the holes my egg a little bit if the thing tilts slightly. Uh, that's not a big deal. If it, I mean, if it eggs slightly, I mean, if the hole's not exactly perfectly around, the rivet head will cover that up. Um, in this case, it didn't, but. So, let me see the, see the hole there. I may have egged just a slight bit, but not much, but... So, when you install the rivet head, you'll never see that. It completely covers it up. So when you hear about people talking about egging them out, typically you mean having to re-drill them and really looking like an egg, not, not sort of oblong. I usually just put the river right through to hold it in place. Have a good guide.
put these, this pair of vice grips here to keep it from uh, bowing out. These aren't clamped on hard at all. I mean, they're just barely on there. It's just enough to keep the sheet metal from deforming when the drill bit comes to the other side. One drilled trunnion. <laughs>